this is a bit of motivation for me because I just come back from a from a from a pretty long run, so a pretty long bicycle. I had a couple push ups inside the home as well. Went to the gym yesterday, going for a long run tomorrow. So I'm on my fucking Alton Mason summer, right? And I keep telling you guys I'm looking to get ripped. I'm looking to get ripped, but I'm looking to get slim. I want to get back into all my flipping designer clothes and have my European physique. So when I'm heading out to flipping Bergheim, I got my arms up in the air, my little t shirt lifts up, people see my midriff and they see it's chiseled. I've got that little um, side man divot on the side, right? Everyone's going to love it. One of the things that's really good motivation for working out and just keeping trim is this new video that I've just peeped courtesy of Post Malone, also known as Austin, aka Posty. He's got a new video out for his single called Chemical. That's a bit of a bop, to be fair. And it's flipping amazing. This could easily be an ad for flipping Calvin Klein. He looks so good. He looks so good. He's lost so much weight and he definitely looks like he's been eating well, I think for the most part, or for the most part, eliminate something. He's got, because I, I know that kind of figure where you kind of just lose the weight first of all and then later on you firm up. So he looks like he's either eliminated, maybe drinking a lot, or he's kind of tightened up his diet. And obviously he's been on tour as well. It feels like for 17 months. So that's going crazy. And I think I saw on the subreddit of Post Malone, some people saying that, um, I didn't even know this because he's quite private about this, but he actually has a partner and they just had a kid recently, but he has to keep those guys like private and doesn't like to expose them to social media. And people are saying that he said in interviews that, oh, um, since, he's, since his kid was born, he's just wanting to like kind of relax and not be too crazy. But I'm going to play this video on mute. Hopefully he doesn't get me pulled. Oh, let's put it on mute. Hopefully he doesn't get me pulled. But he looks absolutely amazing, no? Or am I bugging? Post Malone looks good, man. Look how slim he looks. And it's amazing as well, right? Because I never, again, um, all the homos in the world, I never really, like, looked at Post Malone and thought, oh, that guy's a good-looking dude. But now, because he's lost, like, let's say, it looks like he's maybe lost 50 pounds, maybe more, he legitimately looks good-looking. Like, I think so. As a dude, I can say, hey, that guy's a handsome dude. He really does look quite, even with all these flipping, you know, tattoos and stuff and whatnot, because that which, which looked a bit crazy before, he actually looks really good. He's just coming into his own. And he even looks taller, because I think I've seen people say, when you've seen him in real life, he's actually really tall. I think someone said, like, he's like 6'3 or something. He doesn't look it, but he looks taller now because he lost the weight, you know? Like, he looks taller. Everything's kind of improved. And it's got me thinking in general, because there was that article that I was talking about before regarding... Um, the uprising, no, because regarding the kind of rise in men um, deciding to get flipping um, cosmetic surgery, right? There's a, there was a big article about, I read, a, I read a, a, obviously on the stream, regards of the Daily Mail. And I thought to myself, when it comes to dudes though, I think women are probably the same. Maybe women is different because I think women have, you know, if you're pregnant, if you, if, if, if you, if you give birth, you you know, women always say your body kind of never goes back to no, like how it was prior. It kind of always fundamentally changes. And obviously women have periods and whatnot. So there are other things that can kind of impact a woman's weight that are way more, you know, things that you can't really control in some respect. I think like, with guys, though, because we don't have that, you should do yourself a flipping favor if you are a bit overweight and just try and lose five pounds, first of all. And I've noticed it myself, just losing five pounds and being, you know, just seeing like, even in your XL t-shirts, oh, wow, it's not as tight on my shoulders anymore. Oh, wow, the when I wear a white tee, maybe my man boobs aren't poking out as much or whatever your insecurity is. Losing five pounds only can make so much difference for a guy. And then when you stick increasing, it can get even more. So I think people should really, especially dudes, if you don't have any, you know, if you don't have any pre-existing health conditions or whatnot, you should really give it a go to try and lose weight first. Um, and just the and just the easy way too, not even working out, just you know maybe eliminating drinking from Monday to Friday, tightening up your diet, and most of the time it will improve what you look like way more than going under the knife. And even way more than getting a haircut or getting buff, because in this regard, he hasn't got a six pack, he doesn't look incredibly muscular, but he just looks <clears throat> way more like sleek and put together and whatnot. Like that's all it is. And all he's done is basic, well, not all, it's still a big achievement, but he's essentially just lost weight. He's still got the same sort of haircut that he has. He's maybe grown a beard. <clears throat> That's obviously helped. Same tattoos and stuff. Still the same type of dude, but just losing weight has definitely improved his looks. I feel like overall by, you know, a factor of maybe 100. And also what that ends up doing, it ends up making you 
walk a bit taller too because you feel confident. So usually when it comes to looks and stuff, it's rarely about, you know, oh, do you look like a fucking runway model? And more so about the kind of confidence that you exude on the inside. And you don't exude confidence on the inside if you don't feel good about yourself. So it doesn't matter if you look like, you know, whatever. If you feel good about yourself, it's going to exude. It's gonna You're going to you're gonna give that vibe off of like, yeah, I feel powerful. I feel this and whatever it may be. And I really, really like that. Um, a good example is Lizzo. Say what you want about Lizzo. And, you know, I, I would, I don't think I could ever be as comfortable as she is being the size that she is. But Lizzo, you can tell she believes she's a bad bitch. You be, she, she believes she's hot as fuck. And I think that kind of comes through when you kind of see her talk and whatnot. Again, you cannot be into her and some people are going to scream, ah, she's ugly. Ah. Okay, cool. Put your um likings to one side. You can't deny that that's not a confident young woman. She legitimately believes that she's the shit. And I feel like that kind of comes through. But I feel like sometimes with dudes, I know with me, I sometimes, you know, I can sometimes, you know, I already have a bit of a, an ego anyway. But when I start looking trim and I walk past a mirror and I'm looking flipping, you know, I'm looking lean and mean, you know, out in the Mason summer and I'm perusing down there in my little St. Laurent jeans and my little flipping, you know, um, Cuban heels, clicking and clacking along the street. Yeah, brother, I feel good. So yeah. That's my vibe. I'm feeling good about it. I'd love to see this on a Saturday because I was tempted to go out. But since I've seen that picture of this video of, 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 of Posty looking the way he did, I didn't go out. I whacked up the stream to so keep me indoors. I'm on the water and we're doing this, man. We're doing this. We're doing this. But yeah, big up Post Malone. He's looking tight. He's looking lean and he's looking tight. And can you tell I'm hyped? You can tell I've been, I've been outside on a bike ride, innit? I'm flipping jazz, man. Yeah! Mmm. <coughs> <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Wow, sorry, that, that went through that went through the wrong hole. Oh shit, I'm jazzed. I am jazzed. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna choke on fucking water. Come on! Come on! If you wanna see me if you wanna see me choke on water, if you wanna see me choke on water, get the C's. Get the C's in the chat. C's in the chat if you wanna see me choke on water. Come on. C's in the chat if you wanna see me choke on water. Let's choke out here, baby. <coughs> Let's choke. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, C's in the chat if you wanna see me choke. <laughs> Woo! They want to see me die. 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 Let's go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyway, whew, I'm getting, I'm getting hot. Sorry. Oh God Almighty, yeah. That that African that African man smells coming out. You know the African man smelling when you start jumping too much and you start sweating and you've got a jacket tied up. When I open this, the mist that will come out of this is mad. But yeah, we got my African man them. So moving on from that 